Greetings! It's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert a view only Google Slides on Google Drive to a PDF. Let's get right into it. So the first step is you need to locate and open up the view only Google Slide. And after that, if you go to file, print will be disabled. Download will be disabled and make a copy will be disabled because this is protected where viewers are not allowed to download, make a copy or print for Google Slide. But we can get around this. The first step is we need to go up to the URL and where it has slash edit then some other characters, we want to delete everything from the word edit until the end of the URL. So you can drag to select everything and then delete it. Then you want to type in HTML present and then press the enter key on your keyboard. And this will give you a HTML present view of the Google slide. However, if you tried to print it or convert to a PDF, you still won't be able to. So instead you want to right click and then click on save as. Then you want to download this as a web page HTML only file. As for the name, it can be anything you want. So we'll type in slide on sub to max, then do dot HTML. So the file name needs to end with dot HTML and for save as type, it needs to be web page HTML only. If it's not that, click on this box and then in the drop down, select web page HTML only. After that, you can then click on save. And once it's downloaded, you need to open up the file. So locate it in the file explorer, which you can do so by clicking on show in folder when you click the download button. And now we want to open up the file. So you can either double click on it or you can right click on it and then click on open with and then click on a web browser of your choice. I'm going to be using Google Chrome and I really recommend you use Google Chrome because the next step may be different on other web browsers. So make sure you're using Google Chrome. And now we've opened up a HTML view version of this view only Google slide that we've downloaded. However, there's still another step we have to do. So in the description below, there's a link. I want you to copy and paste it into your web browser and you'll see why it's important you're using Google Chrome. So open up a new tab in your web browser and paste in the following Chrome settings content JavaScript. Then click on enter and you want to select don't allow sites to use JavaScript. Don't worry, this is only temporary. You'll be able to re-enable JavaScript once you finish doing this. So make sure you click on don't allow sites to use JavaScript. Then you want to go back to your downloaded copy of your Google slide and you want to press F5 on the keyboard or reload the web page. And after that, you want to then go up here and then click on print. You can also press control P on the keyboard. And if everything's working, you'll be able to print the Google slide to your printer or you can save it as a PDF. Now the formatting isn't perfect. However, if you've been given Google slides, maybe let's say they're lecture notes or their company policy and they don't let you download a local copy. Here I've shown you how to download a local copy and then how you can save that local copy into a more read friendly format because it's easier to open a PDF and share that PDF than open up a HTML file. So we can click on save and then it'll give it a name. I'm going to call this sub to max.pdf. So we'll save it. Then we'll go to where the PDF was downloaded and I'll open it up by double clicking on it. And as you can see, it's now a PDF. And you can also send this to a printer if you want to and print it off on paper. To my knowledge, this JavaScript isn't enabled on your web browser, so this file can't be opened. Enable and reload. I don't think it's possible to get rid of that. But for the context of keeping a local copy of data that you can't make a copy of, I think this is fine. And one other step, we can go back to our settings and re-enable JavaScript. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.